Hey everyone, it's Bree. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for Shimmer's Pink, and I'm super excited to share this one with y'all today. I'm going to be using my Hip Kit Club Kit for the month of June, and it features a lot of uh, the Pink Fresh Studios new line Simple and Sweet. There's a sweet and simple, no, it's simple and sweet. Uh, and I'm, I chose this pattern paper specifically uh, for this layout, I had seen it and I was like, okay, how am I going to be able to use it? It is very busy, but I still wanted to use it. Like I didn't, and I didn't really want to cover up a lot of the circles. So I thought what better way than to cut into it and kind of fussy cut around the circle shapes and spread uh, each piece around uh, a piece of white cardstock. So the photo I have on the left is a photo of my two boys with my mom and my stepdad. They had visited last year, uh, they had, visited us, they had visited us in Hawaii last year and we were at our favorite beach and we just spent the day floating and snacking and just laughing and having so much fun. We, it was just like an all in all great day. Um, so I had I cut a lot of me trimming out the big pieces from the pattern paper and I've decided to add gesso. At first I didn't add gesso, but I didn't, I thought I had my basil marshmallow cardstock out and I didn't. So when I had added the original color, uh, shimmers that's to my right I'll talk about that color in just a minute uh, I had put it on I was like you know what you're gonna need gesso you're gonna you're gonna add a lot of mixed media onto it and you didn't bring the right cardstock to your desk so I went with it and just added some uh, white gesso and uh, I've got my pieces spread out there and I am going to be just using the original shimmers colors in my uh, or on my layout today so of course all the newest you know, I've talked about it previously in a few of my um, other videos. The I'm completely obsessed with their newest colors, and I'm featuring three of those today. The first one is Going Peach Side, which I am painting on right now. I am kind of trying to do the color on color or, you know, somewhat closer, you know, to whatever the pattern paper is. I'm kind of trying to put the color underneath it or right next to it. So I've added Going Peach Side. It's a beautiful peachy color with lots of shimmer. And then I've added one of my favorites, uh, It's Meant to Be. And these colors that I have chosen match this Paint Fresh Studio line like perfectly, like to a T. I, all of these colors are just my style. If someone, if someone was to ask me like what your style is uh, or like colors, like theme that you always gravitate more towards, it would be these colors right here, like mints and pinks and like a um, like a cornflower blue, like the light peach, because I'm really not an orange and a red kind of fan. I do like them a little more muted or more, you know, toned down a little bit. Okay, so the other color that I've got or that I've pulled out now is, this is, isn't part of the newer um, collection that they, not collection, this isn't uh, the newest one that they've come out with. It's called Ultramarine and it is the prettiest blue. And at first, I thought this color would be too dark. Um, but the other ones that I had tried out in my stash, like the other blues, they were more of like a, a baby blue or like a powder blue. I don't know how to ex explain it. But um, this, <clears throat> excuse me, this ultramarine is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it matches uh, the blue in the line perfectly. So I'm just going around and adding the color, adding some water and watering down the shimmers just a little bit. You don't have to since it already comes with liquid inside, but I wanted to water it down a little bit. Um, so it's not too heavy, but then also to keep my, my, um, the color that I do have in my little pots, you know, to make it stretch so I don't run out and I'm almost out of, it's meant to be, I should probably place another order. Um, these, it's so funny because in the beginning with shimmers, when I first started using it, or using their products, I was all about the sprays. Like I love the other, you know, the other pots and stuff, but the original shimmers have recently just captured my heart, especially the newest, um, the newest colors that they, that they've got. And, um, yeah, so you guys should definitely try them out and, um, yeah, they're just, they're just so pretty. Sorry. I was trying to think of what I was, I was doing. Um, but yeah, so you see me, I'm just kind of taking the pieces that I've already cut into and I'm adding the colors underneath it. And uh, I'm trying to see. Now, right now, it just looks like, wow, you've just got a bunch of spots like everywhere, and it doesn't even look, <laughs> it just looks a mess. But once I glue all of these, um, the circle pieces onto my cardstock, it'll all come together, I promise. All right, so I've got uh, my adhesive down, or on, and now I'm going to stick my piece down. 
and I love how this turned out. It's so light and bright and fun. And I did want to kind of layer those two up, so I just put the two, um, those two circles underneath that larger piece. And I've got that down, and then I'm going to finish with my last piece here. All right, so I love how it came out. Now I did punch that little yellow circle. It was just randomly put on the ran um, on the pattern paper. So I just took a circle punch. I think it was like a one and a quarter inch, and I cut it because I knew I needed a little bit more yellow up at the top right. All right, so let's see. I think here I'm grabbing some vellum so I can place it behind my photo, and then I pulled out the contents of my Hit Kit Club kit, and I've got it to my left. And sorry for the pause. I was trying to, or not the pause, but like wondering, you wondering where I went. I need, needed to grab vellum and I grabbed my 12 by 12 vellum instead of my eight and a half by 11. So it's easier to cut into the smaller piece. All right. So I did have this like gray uh, star paper from, it was, I think it was the Paper Studios Christmas line. And I thought it matched perfectly because not only are the colors on the pattern paper, but there's like black and white text, and I thought the gray would be a nice addition to kind of play off of it. So I'm pulling pieces from the um, die cut pack, and so my title is just going to be Sun Kissed. I thought it was perfect. It's just simple, you know, um, the photo is very simple, especially since my background is, and you know, like my the pattern paper cut up, it is pretty busy. So I thought, you know, just let's just do a simple title. And uh, I love, I just love how how it turned out title wise because we were definitely sun kissed that day I think I think my mom and my stepdad got a little burnt because there's no shade out there there's really no trees so you're just like exposed to the sun and we were out there I think god like six hours and but when you're in the ocean and floating and when it's like waist deep you know and it's there's the reef way out there so honestly the water you, it's like you're sitting in the pool it is just Oh gosh, we didn't, it didn't even feel like we were out there for that long. It was so much fun. Okay, so I added foam to the back of my photo and I um, am going to go ahead and staple my title on there and then just kind of stick it down like the sun part because it was, it was sticking up. And then I thought um, that since there was like the black and white text on the right side, you know, with the flower and the lemon piece, I needed a little more um, to bring it up towards, you know, the top left. So I added that a dark gray heart with some gold uh, dots around it. I added that and then I added this uh, that really pretty flower die cut and then I popped it up with a, a dot so it wouldn't get smashed. And then there's this, uh, let's see, there's this die cut that says explore in the blue because I really wanted more blue on the right, um, the bottom right. And then I added this, um, oh my god, I always forget the names of these stickers. It says, what is the I'm looking for the packaging. It's not enamel. I forget. Oh my gosh, that's going to drive me crazy. There it is. Epoxy. Jeez, it's an epoxy sticker. And it says our squad, because that was like our total beach squad that day. And let's see, what am I doing? I'm just going through these, the ephemera to see what else I can add. And of course, I have this really cute little CJ and paperclip. And then I find some flowers from the die cuts and I wanted to go ahead and carry some more color where it was um, needed to kind of make it even throughout my page. I'm just popping those up on some foam dots. And let's see, I've got, oh, I'm using the gold puppy hearts and spreading those around. And I thought about using those um, tags that are from the Simple and Sweet line. They're just a little bit more of a darker blue, and I thought that it would be too bold for my page, and it would kind of take away from everything else. So I opted not to add those. And of course, enamel dots, since I've had, I haven't had added those onto the layout in a while. Um, my go-to recently has been sequins, which I am going to add here in just a second. <laughs> but um, this uh, chipboard sheet from Maggie Holmes. I need, I wanted to use this little piece. This is one of the things that I've been trying to get rid of, like use whatever's left in my package. So I'm excited that I was able to add that there. And it says, fall in love 
with as many things as possible. We did fall in love with that beach. My goodness, it was so much fun and so pretty. Now here, I believe, is where I add my sequins, which I think that's why, yeah. <laughs> and I'm using some new ones from Spiegel Mom Scraps. They're uh, called He Said, She Said and Gold Summer Sunset. And they match the simple and sweet se uh, section. What is it? Collection. <laughs> Perfectly. And I'm just going to scatter those around. I'm not going to add too many. I'm just kind of adding little things here and there. I thought it just needed a little bit of more glitz and, um, you know, a little more, a little more fancy, I guess. Uh, the shimmer shimmers paint um, are so glittery and gorgeous. I thought the sequins sitting on top of the shimmers would look really pretty. Kind of finish it off. Let's see. And this is about like the last step that I do. I am going to be adding my journaling and then a couple more pieces off camera. And you'll see that here in the final photo in just a moment. But as always, if you do place an order with shimmers paints, don't forget to put my name in the comment section and they'll send you a freebie. And I just am displaying all the um, colors I used here and they turned out or they matched perfectly. So here's my final project. I hope you guys enjoyed this process. Thank you so much for watching, for commenting and subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.